say she pulls up the curbs. That's why we do lots of this. And when we used to, we trotted, we've done this several times now, so it's probably a bit better she doesn't try and canter off so much. Well, she's, no, she's all right. What I want to do is trot back down here because this might seem like a simple exercise but nine out of ten horses when we start their training can't do that simple trot along that part of the road because it's slightly downhill and they want to turn right towards home So it's this fiddling about. That I do. Good girl. It so that madam. Good girl. Madam who thinks she's got all the answers. We have to do a little bit of weaving in and out the traffic, which has to be good for her. So instead of going straight down that hill, we do all sorts of combinations. Good girl, he didn't trip. Hello! Good girl. Very good. You see, when she's done a lot of this, she just want to stand. Right, that's what she wants to do. She wants to stand. Look, it may not seem like work, but it is for a horse. Okay, we'll go off again. Very good. And whoa. And whoa. Yes, good girl. I'm walking on. And now we can go down here. Good girl. And now she's picking her way down and not rushing. Um, which is her usual way. She likes to rush down the hill towards home. Now she's picking her way. And she's so much straighter. I can feel it. Just the little slip there with the back foot. Good girl. 
I'm going to do lots of my favourite, which is walk to halt, halt to walk, walk to halt, halt to walk, walk, halt to trot. Trying to encourage her when I ask for the halt, I don't fiddle about with it, but I try and get it in her mind, through my mind, that I want a leg at each corner. And most horses find that incredibly difficult, so, and whoa. Whoa, whoa, good girl, and walking on. So that isn't a leg at each corner, the left shoulder's way back, and walking on, but never mind. So they're truly balanced when everything's level and they've got a leg in each corner. Right, and whoa, I mean some of them have it naturally, but most don't. And walking on, that time the left shoulder was in advance. Um, I don't worry about what the back legs are doing. Um, once the shoulders become level, uh, the back legs, I can start thinking of that and it doesn't worry them so much. If I start thinking about the back legs before the shoulder, they get worried. And whoa. And then her shoulder's badly back because she wants to turn there to the left. walking on. Now I'm going to, now you see, this is where we might have, yes, she might do this back, no, we're going to go on, good. She was thinking about going backwards, she was thinking about it, here it goes, here it goes. Because there was no hedge, um, yeah, so th there's that, we've still got to overcome that, you know, she thinks she knows best, and I'll just come around and we'll try that once more. So yes, that's Bella thinking she knows best. When she comes around she has to come around like that, so she's not coming around like a motorbike. So try that again, Bella. I was able to use quite a lot of strong leg without her, which I've never been able to do before because she's all she simply lost the plot. Um, she's seen it like, oh, I don't know what you want, I don't know what you want, and it's made matters worse, not better. Now she won't do it to the right, she only ever does it. She won't move her quarters to the right and come backwards only to the left. It's as if um, what she's telling me is that she's been ridden and when she makes a statement like that they've let her turn round and let her rush home as fast as she likes. I can tell because that's what she does. Right. So I don't need to know what somebody's been doing because the way Bella goes tells me. So it's like, well, she's she's made a statement and, and got away with it in the sense that um, she's got the result she wanted even if the rider didn't get the result the rider wanted. So, um, yeah, she's been allowed to sort of back up and then the rider gives in and then she speeds up and goes home. So yeah, that's not happening anymore. So what I'm going to do is repeat this exactly, and whoa, and whoa. Now you can see that she, she's just desperate to go over there to the left. All the weight's on this left, and she's desperate. So now I'm going to ask her to walk on again. Walk on, walk on, walk on. All calm, all calm. And because um, I didn't give in to her that time, this time walking her on was a lot more straightforward. So I just walk her up here because what she wants to do is whirl round. Horses love whirling round, uh, but they're not allowed to whirl round, at least not of their own volition. 
so she has to come over to the right because the left leg's pressing her she has to come round she she wants to come round like a motorbike but I'm not going to let her so we're just going to do that again right yes good girl very good yes good girl well she tried it first time so yeah I will go round like a motorbike very good so you can see that you know Bella's still got little you know we're not there yet but hey it's early days in the grand scheme of things let's wait for this lorry and she wants to go that way so I'm saying no you can't go off to the right and whoa and whoa Girl, well, we're a little bit straighter and walking on and walking on and walking on and walking on good girl and we're much straighter this time and whoa now she'll try the backwards thing good girl and whoa good girl and walking on and walking on now she's trying the backwards thing because she doesn't want to go forward good girl and whoa so by wowing, I'm giving her the opportunity to come backwards or go forwards. I'm walking on, I'm walking on. Good girl. So I'm going to come around here. Yes, good girl. So I'll try that once more and then we'll leave it. Because it is this repetition. Now she thinks she might jog off. But I've got news for you, Bella. I'm coming around here. So always you need to be one step ahead of this mare who's quite quick thinking and now she's she's um she's registering her um frustration she's getting frustrated and she's thinking she'd like to go home that she doesn't want to stand here you see this is when you see Bella like one minute she's happy to stand with me now she's not happy to stand with me and, that, and that's the way it goes but I don't take it personally right okay now whoa I'm walking on I'm walking on walk on good girl and whoa whoa I'm walking on I'm walking on, I'm walking on. She thought about it and then thought better of it. Well, that's all right. It was her choice. She could have gone backwards and um, we would have had to have dealt with it. That's it, good girl. Now, providing you don't run off around the corner, we will go head for, head for home. That good girl. Good girl. 